Hi, um, in this tutorial I want to look at the new feature of um, the Populate tool in um, the new um, 3ds Max um, version 2015. Um, now my last, I did a screencast a few weeks ago about the um, 2014 Populate version, but um, I just want to show you one really cool new um, feature of 2015. So what I'm going to do is go to the populate on the ribbon bar and define the flows and oops, define the flows and click on the define flow button. Just draw a bit here. Okay. So now we've got this path um, on the plane, you know, the plane I made. Um, so usually we would do this and then we'd press simulate and um, it would make some nice people walking along. But this time I want to create an idle area and now you can see that we've got a new button on the left which is create a seat. Um, so I'm going to create a seat. So it creates um, a block that comes out of the walking area definition space. Yeah? And it's really cool and you can rotate the seat to wherever you want. Now this block what you have to remember this block does not render, it's like the path below it, it it's not a renderable object. So what you'd have to do is make your own seat. So let's do this quickly and make a box. Um, you, you know, it could be a much more complex thing as this, like um, a piece of furniture that you've imported. So you want to make a box there that the, the user, the populate character will sit on. Right, and then I'm going to have some other people in the scene because this has a really, another really cool tool as well, built in. Right it. Okay, so I'm going to create some more seats. So we go to the idle areas again, create another seat here, drag it to where this red box is, and create another seat. These arrows show the direction of the sitter. So the square is the back and the line is the front. So what I'm going to do now is rotate this here and I'm going to rotate this one so it's looking towards this other one. But what you can see, as I rotate it, it shows, it's quite hard to see here, but there's a line that goes across here. And now this line means that the two um, populate characters are going to interact with each other here. Yeah? Um, yeah, okay, so if we take it to wireframe, it shows the line more clearly. So again, as you could prob probably guess, if I rotate this seat, it's going to show that there's going to be interaction with these two characters. Um, and basically, when there's a line here, um, when we simulate the characters, the, the, the characters will interact, so their animations, their expressions will look as if they're talking to each other. Okay. Well, obviously they're not really, it's not, you know, it's just a simulation. Um, so, <laughs> um, so I'm going to simulate this and we can see the results. So go to simulate, press simulate and I'll pause it until it's finished. Right, so the simulation is finished and it's made three characters here and they're going to be talking to each other. So I'll take the wireframe off and we can see they're leaning into each other. Their expressions are interacting with each other. Okay. Unfortunately this man behind them is going to walk through them so we can try to delete him. And we do this by going to the delete you have to delete him from the ribbon, not just using the delete button. Um, so that's a really cool new feature of Populate that allows you to create seated figures. There's some really good new features as well. We can swap appearances as well. Just let that load up. It seems to take quite a long time. I don't think it's done it. Just a minute. Swap appearances again. Okay. 
So, oh yeah, it has done it, yeah. We can switch resolution, but this is a bit strange because you have to download this one, and um, it's a bit annoying because every time I do it, it seems to download every time, so I'm still figuring that out. And we can do some some new things, but I mean, y you can look at this and and see see for yourself, but I really just wanted to talk about this seated option with the expressions because as I think it's pretty cool. I'll just leave that to play. Alright, okay, well thanks very much for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.